Congratulations, Jack, on running this year's Betfred World Match Play. Sum up how you think your performance was today. Um, I, I think it was a game of um, capitalising on uh, Ricky's mistakes really early on, and then obviously I got a lead. Uh, but there's a couple of eggs I give Ricky where I, I just couldn't have a treble. Heard me and. Um, Whenever it was on his throw, I kept on giving them belief that there was a couple of legs to give him an easy leg on his throw, and then obviously, and he had a free chance in on my leg, and there was I think there was like three throws uh, on my leg. He couldn't under travel, and I could see the frustration. So I thought to myself, just 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 do what you're normally doing and hit one forties, one eighties. <coughs> Tons, put him under pressure, make sure that he has to break in 12. And obviously, I was lucky that uh, he couldn't at the end up because obviously, going and after the second break, I was 7 3 up. And the first thing that was on my mind coming out is, is if you could break him, go 8 3 up, he'll. He'll crumble then. Well, not crumble, but he'll. Every dart is under pressure then. And uh, for some strange reason, I, I seem to give him chances. But uh, no, I'm glad to get the win, really. 7 3, as you say, he's not really pushing you. Did you mentally maybe switch off and looking at Ryan Sue to let him back in? No, um, never, because I, I, I'm not one of them players. I'm not like uh, a Gary Anderson, a Michael Van Gerwen, uh, that, uh, that are ultra special dart players. I always try to the final dart, even if I was 7-3 down. Uh, the way I played uh, there, even to close out the game, I probably would have played the exact same to try and stay in the game. So th it does make no difference to my game, but um, no, I, 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 listen, every single leg, every single throw, every single dart, I am trying my hardest. When you went 9-7 up, we saw a snarl on your face. Were you mad with yourself for being in that position? No, it's like uh, the Darl of 2017 was a very angry Darl, Gurney, and uh, I just needed to hate the Darl player I was playing, and I could play him, I play him, I score him, I double him, do everything. And um, I says to Matthew Ward before I walked out, I says, Tell me something that he's did before I've done the walk on. Tell me that he's hit my way and hit my wee boy, or something like that, to get me angry. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the the old Darl Gurney was very angry Darl Gurney, and I need that one back. Uh, they be in every single leg, crucify whatever mistakes they make. So for me, I need to get more angry again. I, I, for some reason, I seem to got grey hairs and got old, and got uh, placed with uh, PDC darts. So from here on, I'm going to try and uh, get like the old angry Darl Gurney back again. Um, the old Darragh only left us. Is it? I know you get some stick on social media at times. Do you listen to it and you try and bring yourself in because of it? Um, I obviously hear the odd comment, but I'm not on social media, um, as you know. Uh, but we will do something tomorrow. Um, but um, no, all, all honestly, obviously, sometimes people think that uh, it's disrespect towards the other player, but. Um, Keeps me G'd up whenever, whenever I'm angry with myself. Don't have to necessarily be angry with the player. I just have to be angry with myself and punish myself to make sure that I'm not uh, having them stupid 59, 60s. Uh, because sometimes uh, 180s, 140s, they they are obviously what we want to hit. But sometimes last start of double, or last start of treble, 97s, of tons. Uh, the 91s, the 93s, they all add up and sometimes I, that just keeps you in the leg. Uh, so I need to get uh, the dog gurney that uh, doesn't miss much and hopefully I can uh, get him back. Heading into the tournament, you are defending semi final one from two years ago now. I know you look at and things like that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, is it something that you are uh, concerned about? Are you defending that my money money reach and having broken into the top? No. Honestly, I. I, I Try and do my damnedest every single turn. Um, I know I'm I know I'm defending a semi final, but I don't I I don't look at uh, rankings. I mean, obviously, uh, there's a couple of players who look at them and say, oh, if I do this and I do that, yeah, I, I make me number five, number six in the order. 
I, I really don't care. Every tournament I play in, should it be a major, pro tour, European, I always try my damnedest. And if I miss doubles or if I'm off on my score that day, I'm going to get beat. So uh, for me, I, I'm always trying 100%. Sometimes it just doesn't work out, and uh, I'm not number three in the world for nothing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think there's one more spot I can go uh, because obviously Rob's defending a lot in the next six months. So, I think he can be caught. And if I was number two in the world for five minutes, I think I could uh, say, you know what, one day, uh, whenever my son's out there, I says, you know what, your dad was a good dart player one day. So is Michael out of reach? Ah, yeah, definitely, because um, I don't look at the rankings, but I listen to conversations that uh, people have on live darts, and they say, all I hear is, if Michael took a year off, he could still be number one. And if he, listen, uh, <laughs> if he's that far in front, what's the sense of saying, oh God, I have to, I have to win every single tournament just to make it a thought on his head. But uh, I'm not that good a player. Uh, I'm a player that uh, I'm happy to win one major a year uh, and try and do as best I can every single tournament. But uh, definitely, the way the way the rankings goes and the way obviously the interviews go when they say we took a year off, uh, he can still be number one. So. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll not, I'm not even thinking about Michael Van Gerwen. Thinking about every game, one step at a time in this one, what we're in there now is obviously the match play. Uh, but if I was like number, as I say, the, if I could be number two for five minutes, it would mean the world to me. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Thank you, Phil. Now, we've seen quite a lot of the seas go out early in this tournament. Do you think that represents an opportunity for you? No, I. I, I I think it represents the, the, strength, the strength and depth in the PDC. Uh, obviously, all honesty, uh, um, whenever I joined the PDC seven years ago, I think there were seven professionals, uh, all honesty. Uh, and now I think we're looking at 80, 80, 100 professionals. So you're playing against quality players all the time. It's not to say, no, if you could walk into a pro tour, a European tour, I'm thinking, oh, I want this player. Um, we all turn up now. It doesn't matter who it is. I mean, James Wade, Michael Van Gerwen, whoever it is. We all turn up on time, uh, do your practice for three or four hours, and get ourselves 100% ready for whoever we play. Should it be uh, number one in the world or number 101 in the world? It's uh, the competition is so so good now, and I'm thankful to be here because. Uh, what makes me get up in the morning is playing against the best players in the world and if I can make a good game yet or even if I could win or lose uh, I'm still uh, I'm still a happy man, I'm still a happy dirt player. Uh, and you're one of the final players to play in the first round of the match play this year. Does that alter your mindset at all having to watch everybody else play before you? No, because uh, all honesty, I don't, I don't watch any games. Um, I was here, uh, I came here on Saturday morning with my family and uh, my wee boy he was obviously he was I took him to the World Championships but he was so young he didn't know what was going on. Now he can speak, he can walk and uh, he tells us he wants to go to the beach and uh, he tells us darts. So um, yeah no it's nice to be here and uh, yeah and it, for the first time ever uh, playing my game, he didn't fall asleep, so uh, I must have been half decent uh, because he usually falls asleep. I come back and he's usually snoring his wee head off. So uh, for the first time ever, he was still awake. So my, my game wasn't that bad. Thank you very much, Dad. Cheers, thank you.